Hey. <laughs> All right. Uh, good morning, everyone. So um, it's great to be here. We are we are absolutely thrilled to be uh, part of the evolution of the OpenStack Foundation, uh, especially taking the lead in uh, in open infrastructure. And what's really exciting to us about this is how the open infrastructure work that is happening um, here is all grounded in the four opens, open source, open design, open development, and open community. We feel that this is absolutely the right approach uh, for very successful open source projects. And what I'm going to do today is I'm going to talk about some of these open source projects. Some of them you've heard about a little a uh, few minutes ago, and, and some uh, new open source projects that will absolutely be uh, uh, and are being done as part of the, the open infrastructure work and, and you know, uh, uh, heavily relying on the, on the four open principles. So first, let me talk about something that you've already heard about, the, the uh, Kata containers. So Kata containers is really interesting to us. Um, I, I, I want to talk a little bit first about how Kata containers came together and how the governance of Kata containers is happening. So uh, one of the things that we've decided uh, early on is to really uh, build it around building a strong community. So that's why um, we created uh, this, uh, the independent govern governance of, uh, of Kata containers under the OpenStack Foundation, where the governance is really lightweight, where you have um, uh, 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 an architecture committee and, uh, that, that's, that's managing all the technical work and, uh, and a working committee that's managing uh, the non-technical work. And that worked really, really well in building, uh, in building the, the Kata container community. And uh, a bit about the technology, and, and, and Amy and, uh, described this a little bit earlier. Um, uh, uh, when you look at isolation, uh, on the one hand, you have virtualization, and virtualization is great. It's, it's, it's amazing security. You can run a full stack and so on. On the other end, you have containers, and containers are also amazing, very, very fast. And you can bring up and tear down an application you know, in, in, in very, very small amount of time. That's why everybody loves containers. So, but as, as was mentioned earlier, uh, containers you know, uh, uh, share the kernel. And, and that creates uh, a, a, uh, a, a security concern. So one of the things that, that brought this, uh, uh, th these projects together is, uh, is to use the same technology that used to secure virtualization and virtual machines into containers. And this is really what, uh, what we at Intel started as the Intel Clear Containers project, and what the Hyper team started independently, just a very, very similar project in the Run-V. And Kata Containers is basically the merge of these two projects. So we're super, super excited about, uh, about the Kata Containers project, and, and we feel it's, it's and, and we're super excited about how it was done. And the, uh, as you've heard earlier, Kata Containers is now 1.0 this week. And to help, uh, to help uh, talk about this, uh, this upcoming uh, th this, uh, this release, I'd like to invite uh, a Microsoft engineer and uh, Kata Container Architecture Committee member, uh, Jesse Vrazel. So Jesse. Hi. Uh, Hi, I'm super excited to be here. Um, I actually first saw a demo of the Intel Clear Containers two years ago at LinuxConf in 2015. And the thing that actually sold me was first the obviously very fast VM booting time, which kind of blew my mind. But at this meetup where it was being shown, um, the person giving the demo could barely even get through it because everyone had these questions that were actually statements trying to prove they were smarter than the person giving the demo because I think that they were so just threatened by how cool it was. Um, so that's pretty awesome. And now with the merger of uh, RunV and now community help and uh, cloud providers helping out, it can only mean greater things for innovation in this space. And so I'm super excited for the future and what this means for container infrastructure overall. And I'm glad to see where it goes. Thanks. Oh, hey, thank you so much, Jesse. <laughs> thank you for all the work. Thanks. Amazing job by the architecture committee to bring this together. 
So um, uh, next up, I'd like to introduce another person who have had a big hand in making this work and who's, um, uh, uh, who's also going to talk a little bit about deploying Kata containers. So please welcome Ani from Huawei. Thank hey, you, Annie. Emma. Hi. How are you? Thank you. Hello, everyone. Yeah, we're super excited about the release of Kata Container 1.0. It's been a long-awaited release uh, since Huawei was one of the founding members of this project. And we're very proud to be part of this exciting project. And um, uh, Huawei, we actually, ever since the launch, we have been con continuously contributing to this project and also adding resources to it. And on the product side, our um, product group um, has also been migrating from the ROM V technology to Kata technologies for our CCI services. And the reason we are contributing and using Kata containers is because of its security benefit that it offers to our enterprise and telco customers. And in addition to contributing and using the technology, we are also very active in promoting the technology because we believe that it's just few of these companies is not enough. We need to rally up the whole open source community to help us further the Kata container technology. And with that, um, I would like to thank Ima, your leadership in this space. I think this is very exciting, and I would like to encourage all of you to join us. Thank you. Thank you very much, Ani. Thank you. Thanks. OK, so, so the work in Kata containers uh, got us to start thinking about other areas, uh, other areas that are close to it, where where we see some, uh, where we see certain things that we can be done, and and specifically we started looking at virtualization. So, uh, if you look at hypervisors and virtualization, especially in open source, uh, it, there is a very very long and very rich history, of just going back almost half a century, of developing uh, uh, virtualization and. And virtualization truly transformed uh, the data center, you know, in terms of uh, uh, efficiency and running workloads. And, and one of the things about virtualization is that it is truly very, very mature technology. And, 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 and this has been a, a great way to scale the data centers. But also, at the same time, uh, that maturity, um, uh, uh, you know, uh, uh, made it, uh, uh, created a situation where nobody really wanted to touch the core technology. And this is one thing we started looking at. We started looking at areas in, uh, in virtualization that can really be improved. So uh, w when you look at the way virtualization is, it never really kept up pace with uh, whether it's new usages and it, uh, uh, whether it's cloud or computing at the edge, and also virtualization uh, never really renewed in terms of uh, uh, um, uh, taking out some of the legacy support. You'll still see floppy support and the lots and lots of legacy support. In some experiments, we could bring down the code size, and, and with that, there's a lot of ramifications. Code size significantly to uh, uh, to much lower, uh, much lower code size, and 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 this is the kind of project that we would like. You know, this is the kind of challenge that that we really would like everybody to get involved in as part of the open infrastructure work that that you will hear about throughout the summit. So, a great area to work with. Uh, things are getting started. Lots of prototypes from many many people, and we're hoping that the discussion throughout the summit this week, you know, will 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 accelerate all this work, and we're really hoping to see Kata-like projects, you know, in the very, very near future. And, okay, so um, next, um, I'd like to introduce a new project, also under the, uh, uh, think of it under the open infrastructure umbrella, and, and this one, there is some uniqueness to it. Um, uh, the project is, uh, is called Starling X. And what we are doing with this project is we're seeding it um, with code from that we are we at Intel uh, are open sourcing uh, uh, code of the Titanium uh, Cloud product, the Intel Wind River Titanium Cloud product, and. And this product is going to, uh, uh, this is more of a carrier grade product that is based on OpenStack. And what we are looking for is to really start a community. And we want to use this as a seed 
uh, uh, source code to really build uh, to build that that type of stack, a carrier grade that that uh, that is able to support industrial IoT and and other telco uh, and edge uh, and edge usages. So uh, um, uh, you, you can see this uh, project starting um, uh, on. on um, uh, you'll hear much more about it uh, over the next few days, and. To know, uh, to participate in it, uh, uh, you'll see it that it's led by um, uh, quite a few uh, uh, familiar faces, uh, familiar uh, uh, um, uh, stacker faces. So please just get engaged and help us uh, build this community and help us, uh, you know, uh, take this and create a successful project uh, with uh, uh, with this. Now, um, uh, finally, what I want to talk about is um, the Acreno Edge Stack project. This is something that uh, AT&T and Intel started a few months ago. And we're hoping that all of these open infrastructure pro uh, projects, that they will end up incorporated into the Edge Stack, that we're looking for to support uh, uh, telco, enterprise, and industrial IoT usages, and, and, and the place for us to be able to develop APIs and to develop some of the middleware and, 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 and SDKs and reference architectures. So uh, with that, I want to thank you very much uh, for your attendance here. Uh, uh, please do visit our booth. Lot, lots of exciting stuff. You know, you'll see a lot of things about the new project, Starling X, uh, um, uh, uh, as well as Kata and, 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 and various uh, other things. Thank you very much, and have a good summit. <laughs>